All right, Coach, uh, thoughts on tonight's game? Um, you know, just credit to GCU. They're 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 um, they're they're a uh, well coached team. Um, I think they were eleven and two coming in for a reason. Um, you know, we we left many opportunities in the game to uh, uh, in the first half uh, that we put ourselves in a hole uh, with 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 the, the, the I think it was four straight turnovers there that we could have had layup opportunities. Uh, missed free throws, missed layups in in the first half. Um, you know, second half I I thought they were in control. Once once we made a little push and got the run, they were in control. And it was just a matter of them trying to get out with the win, more than anything else. And so um, you know, I, I there's 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 you know our kids kept trying to play. We we we. We got eight guys, got seven guys playing on scholarship. There's no, I can't make excuses, but I mean, when you have no post players to play that size, I mean, I'm literally playing, you know, uh, threes against those guys. Yeah, it's no size, and, and so, you know, um, but defensively we weren't we weren't good enough. So, you know, you look at they said, well, you, you you battled with them on the boards. Yeah, we did, but they also got nine offensive rebounds, but they shot. 57% for the game, and we just didn't guard them in the second half. And so that still puts their their rebound percentage um, right around where they're at, and that's top five in the country, uh, offensive rebounding percentage. So um, a lot of size, they were good, they're good. Um, I thought we had a few opportunities, didn't, didn't you, know, um, you know, had missed a lot of open threes, left – Ten free throws on the table. You know we 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 we've got to stop self-inflicting. I mean, uh, but they're they're they are who they are for a reason, and we are where we're at for a reason. So, Bill Parcells, I think he said it summed it up. You know, you get it. you are what your record says you are. So, um, congratulations to them. They're well coached. You know, we got to put this in a way and get ready for New Mexico State on Saturday. Um, what was the message that you gave your team, you know, um, going into the second half of the game? Uh, I just told him, I was like, you know, you guys, we're, we're, you're, we're, we're right there. I mean, we're down 10, but it felt like it was closer because we had missed layups. We had missed, we, we had that stretch where we could have breakaway layups. Uh, that we played solid defense, and 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 it it seemed you know in their last play of the game, uh, last 31 seconds to go, we take a bad shot, and to, if we'd have had the last possession, the score could have been a, um, I think I think we're down eight, could have been a six point game going into half, versus going being ten with the ball. That's a different story, you know. So we take a ill advised shot, they come down and score right at with zeros instead of being you know, down at worst eight, maybe six, we're down ten. And, um, um, you know, we could never get our footing. But when we got to 49-40, we, we, made, we made, you know, plays that, that were in a negative that put them right back up 13 and kind of just got away, spiraled from there. They play, the, 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 them playing zone changed the whole momentum of the game. Um, they haven't played zone literally at all this year um, and you know guys I, you know we, put, we came back from Sam Houston we had to put a whole new offense in to go into this game so I mean because we have no no fours and fives so you know uh, bad coaching poor coaching not having prepared to, to face his own so I, I, I take all the blames when it, when it comes to losses. We were, we were poorly coached or better coached. Coach, uh, you, you just mentioned playing with a locker room full of twos and threes to try to match the bigs. Uh, one of the things that I kind of noticed, like in these in small sample sizes, that when you guys attacked the rim, it just kind of seemed like you guys were drawing a little bit more of the fouls. Is that just something that you just adjust uh, with the quick turnaround that you've got New Mexico State that almost plays similarly to 
what GCU plays? Yeah, no, I mean, we, we practice. We, we, we are one of the better, I think we're maybe uh, top two in the country at, 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 at our, you know, you, you talk about numbers. I know you said you like numbers, right? Um, um, that, that, you know, we're like second in the country in, in our rim rate attack. What does that mean? That means we go to the rim a lot. Tonight, we were just shooting off balance shots. That wasn't like they were really affecting those shots. It, we, for whatever reason, we were off balance. We just went up circus shots like, you know, let me close my eyes and see if this thing will fall, go in. I mean, instead of going through what we call finishing school every day, getting in the paint, taking on the contact, keeping your head and eyes on the rim, and just score. I, I, I felt like we, we, we left a lot on the table there. I mean, you just said it right now that you guys kind of got away from it a little bit. Uh, but now with the quick turnaround against New Mexico State, uh, just uh, how do you just try to fix those uh, mistakes that you guys had out there? I mean, the, the free throws, I mean, that's a high analytical thing that you uh, mentioned in the past, but now just the attacking the rim and, and, and just try to be more aggressive, like inside the paint. Yeah, no, well, here, here, here's what I'll say. Um, when you shoot the ball well, you cover up a lot of mistakes. You know, the, the cure to, to, to anything is, is, is shooting a high field goal percentage. Yeah, we were 41 in the first half, 46 in the second. You know, 12% um, from the three-point line in the first half. Left, um, we were 26% for the game, 5 and 19. I mean, we had open threes. And it's not like we don't go out there and work every day because um, we're not in school. So it's not like we're not getting in the gym and just, you know, shooting ball after ball after ball after ball. I mean, we, we do that. So... Um, you know, we just got to – when you, when you play good offense, and that's – think about this. Um, Mike Adewumi and, and, and Quentin Johnson, who's back with us, uh, you know, uh, Mike's playing the five tonight at, at times, and Quentin's playing the four. You know, Mike said, you don't know what they're doing, you know. But it's the – it's like, uh, you know, you play in, you're playing Texas Hold'em, you've got to play with the – and that you've been dealt. Sometimes, sometimes the hand, the cards that you have, you know, and it, you know. Sometimes you got to try to bluff, uh, but you know, we we've not done a really good job in the last two games of defending the three point line. We it, it's gross that we've given up 24 threes in, in the last two games between Sam and uh, um, uh, GCU. 20, 24 threes, you're not beating nobody. Nobody. Um, so we've got it. We've got to get. But to their credit, they're putting us in situations in our pick and roll defense that are leaving guys open. And McLaughlin, McLaughlin, whatever his name is, he's a good kid. Um, coached against him at SEMO when he's a freshman. I mean, he put some daggers in us, you know, uh, at the end of shot clock situations.